Forget Budokai Tenkaichi 4, we may have a brand new Dragon Ball Z game coming very soon. You see, back in July of 2023, Super Dragon Ball Heroes Meteor Mission was announced. And a few months before that, it had officially been the 4th anniversary since Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission was released. Of course, Meteor Mission refers to the actual arcade game. But what I'm suggesting is something else entirely. It's because World Mission really just went up to the Broly movie around that. And it hasn't gone any further because it hasn't received any other updates. This is why I believe it to be the absolute best time to release a brand new Heroes console port. Obviously on the Nintendo Switch and the PC. The game was found to be one of the top selling games in Japan on release. And it seems to have been more popular on the Switch than it was on the PC. Either way, looking at the sales and the positive reviews, I feel like that's enough incentive to create another Heroes game as well. The question now is, if they were to release another game, how far would it go in terms of the story and the cards? Now, in my opinion, I think that it will go towards perhaps the latest episode of the anime and the latest manga chapter, uh, which is of course featuring the generational Kamehameha. And the story itself will likely consist of a similar sort of nature to that of World Mission, where you have Beat and Note as the main characters. I do hope that they move away from the corny dialogue that was in World Mission, which was alright, but hopefully it's something a little more serious. The good thing about World Mission and its predecessors on the 3DS, such as Ultimate Mission X, was that to actually obtain the cards in that game, it was just like Dokkan Legends, it was like a gasha. You didn't have to do microtransactions to get anything, and I hope they continue with this trend, because a pay to win aspect in this game would definitely just destroy it entirely. And I think the developers and the creators are probably smart enough not to do this. Now there is the question of whether or not we may receive some kind of update or DLC for the game. And I think that yes, it will happen if there's the support for the game and if there is the sales numbers. If the sales numbers are there, we should be okay to receive some kind of update, whether it be from any recent anime that releases or any manga chapters, who knows. And speaking of manga chapters, it's m possible that we receive something like Ultra Ego or any of these manga exclusive characters and forms, but I'm not quite sure it'll happen just yet. The thing is, I'm pretty sure that there's some kind of issues with licensing and ability to use these at all. I mean, recently there's talk of like Dragon Ball Magic or whatever that's supposed to be. We might see that in an update or DLC if in fact that is true. If not, then, well, that's up to them. There is some extra information about Meteor Mission that has come from a known leaker on Twitter by the name of Jared. He notes that the Taiwanese arcade version is only up to Big Bang Mission 3, which is actually pretty far behind as of course there is Ultra God Mission after that. If in fact a new console game is released, the Taiwanese players won't have any incentive to play the arcade game when they could just play the console game. So perhaps a potential release date would likely be within 2024 or maybe early 2025. What do you guys think? Are you excited for a potential new Heroes game? What do you want to see from it? Let me know in the comments below. Have a good one.